what's good family what's going on with y'all hope you guys are having a great one welcome back to another fantastic vlog thank you guys as always so as you see i have the tank on time to head to the gym uh, it's been a couple of days so got legs today so i'm going to once again try the 495 squat so but before i get started guys i'm about to leave in a few uh i did not review this baby right here this is Atten Sludge Company, supplement company, The Grind. My boy Jay Will recommended this to me while I went to Five Star Whiskey and Cola BCA. Let me tell you guys something. 10 out of 10. Uh, and I'm I'm putting out this little cartoon rating on there to, to, to play. But guys, this is <laughs> this here. It's gonna be with me for a while. It has helped me out tremendously as well through my through my sessions along with the pump and grind. This has helped me out tremendously. So 10 out of 10, it tastes like a whiskey and coke. I love liquor. So this is the bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. I hope recommend you check this out. It is pricey. It did cost me like almost $50. I'm not gonna lie. But if you want quality, you gotta pay the price. So Give it a shot, guys. Aston Sludge. They got Instagram. Aston Sludge. Uh, check it out, guys. This is definitely my go-to BCA for quite a while. So check it out, guys. 10 out of 10. Then I thought I told y'all guys, I think two vlogs ago, I was going to review it, and I didn't do it. So here it is now. All right, fit fam. So let's go ahead and talk about this session. So you saw another fail for four ninety five. Um, it just felt like a ton of bricks today. Uh, it felt like a mountain was on my back uh, when I first started lifting up. So I, I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to happen, but I tried it anyway. And um, yeah, but we're going to keep pushing forward. Uh, it's like I told you guys. The vlog before the arboretum vlog, uh, I'm going to show the fails. Today was a struggle, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Today was a mighty struggle. You saw me do 455 for three sets of one rep. I decided today that I was going to use this as a struggling point. I need to start filling out this 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 weight. This this 400, 425, 455, 475. I need to start feeling this weight a little bit more. I think that's one of the problems I'm having. I'm, my body still not used to feeling this much weight on my back uh, like it was in the past. So I'm definitely going to be working on this. So it's going to be some struggles. I'm going to show all the struggles, show all the fails. And ultimately, ultimately, I am going to hit a 505 pound squat. I'm still trying to reach that by my birthday, which is about, what, two weeks away now. So, um, I still would love to do that for my birthday. Uh, so we're going to try to get there. It's going to be a, a nice struggle, 
uh, bone deuce a little bit exercise that will incorporate and help me out uh, a lot more hamstrings that which I did today uh, during this session um, and a lot more squatting as you saw me struggle with this 365 um, you know I, it's, I'm gonna struggle and take you guys along for the ride with me you got to find strength in your struggles at the end of the day and I'm not afraid to fail, as I specified before. And I'm not afraid to show the fails. I'm not afraid to let people see that failure, because failure is a part of your process. I've expressed that enough. Uh, so it is what it is. We're going to hit that bitch. I guarantee fucking to you, we, I'm going to hit a 505 pound squat sooner rather than later. If it's not by my birthday, it's going to be sooner. Rather than later, I guarantee you I will be back up in 500s and probably push myself more. I did say once I hit a 505 pound squat, I will go back to front squatting so I can use that to increase. And that is the goal. Once I hit a 505 pound squat, I'm going to go right back to front squatting and try to get that heavier than what it is. Uh, you see me doing some hamstring right, work. Family. So I did my thirty Sunday, sets, my, my 30, 30 rep sets day of, uh, uh, with the leg break. extension and break. the hamstring curl. I did incredibly sad. I wish it was a summer, lot longer, but it is what it like is. So that is the workout. Appreciate y'all here in Plano. Last time I was here, they had a problem with the court. but that was what about a year ago, almost. I believe. I think. Maybe, not sure. I think it was, I think it was over a year ago. I had it because the pandemic's here. So, eh, anyways, 24 has changed because they need members. So, even if I, even if they do give me a problem, I'm just gonna stick report the shit anyway, so I'm out of but I got chest and arms. So, let's get to work, man. The grind continues no matter the fuck what. So, talk to you guys. Got this cord in my way. Talk to you guys. Do a video commentary over this part of the day. So, it is Sunday. Chest and arms day. And decided to go on ahead. I, I was trying to talk to you guys in the gym. But it, it just never works out. So, I'll just do a video commentary over this for you guys. Uh, 315 was a struggle. And I knew it would be today. I think I'm going to have to take a deload this coming week as I'm going back to work and then just go from there. So even though the bench was not as I wanted to be, I decided to focus on the free weight. So here, incline hit the 120s for a couple, a few sets. Well, I did 90s, the 105s, and I did three sets of 120. You see two sets here. Um, incline starting to get a little bit easier. Um, definitely... When I go get to another gym that has more than 120 pounds, I'm definitely going to try out the 130s, the 140s. I think I can definitely hit those for reps <clears throat> on the incline bench. 
then decide to do a isolateral bench press this is one of my harder moves to do guys because just the way it's positioned uh i can't really get heavy weight and plus i was a little bit fatigued at this point from the bench press and from doing those inclines floor presses guys uh i kind of do a dead stop on the floor and then i um press it up this is a good practice for me for the bench because i do struggle in the whole position when you're holding it down and trying to press it up so these are a good tool to utilize when you are stuck in that hole um as they as we call it stuck in the fox hole as we call it moved on to arms did my staple my baby the bicep barber bicep curls i said before if you want mass if you want a size on your biceps do the standing barbell bicep curls also a fabulous core builder as well and if i'm looking away i'm looking away at my computer as i'm talking to you guys so don't don't mind that shit just listen to me anyways um so like i said barbell bicep curls are a staple of mine one of my favorites they look beastly as fuck when you do them especially when you're doing like when you're curling human bodies as we call it curling the bar some people will say you don't curl the bar until you do 45s so but 25s is good enough for me so it is what it is and then i did some standing dumbbell curls with both arms using both arms is much harder for me than uh isolating i mean isolating but doing like alternate or one arm doing both arms for me is a great challenge um uh, it's pushing your core as well stand anything you stand in and you have to initiate your core is a good exercise so like i said these are not only for biceps but they can with enough weight work your core as well so like i said i mean like i said sorry guys moving on as you see the rest of this bicep curls did some triceps did some machine dips for a couple of rounds um and then i tried to do some body weight dips at this point my body was super fatigued my elbow was hurting really bad and that's because dips actually hurt i actually hurt my elbow because of dips that's how i ended up getting golfer's elbow so i did try dips again only got a few reps and i tried it one more time and my elbow was just too much in pain so i moved on to the last thing which is the tricep extension and that is it guys mm -hmm.